Well, you guys got another video on the best tool to stop telemetry in Windows 11. Now, yesterday I made a video about how much does Microsoft spy on you? And I made a video between Windows 11 and Windows 10 LTSC. Now, quite a few people wanted to know whether Chris Titus text tool will be able to stop the telemetry or data harvesting in Windows 11. So I said I'll make a video showing you uh, the results of running certain tools and also uh, the best way of stopping uh, Microsoft from spying on you on Windows 11. So here we have uh, Wireshark open and it's showing us all the connections. You can see static.edge.microsoftapp.net and there's other ones on here as well like teams.event.data.microsoft.com and edgeskype.com and we've also got ring. Uh, microsoftedge.com and you can see windows msn and msn.com and a bunch of other connections that are connecting out and going to microsoft we've got bing.com there and we also have a bunch of other ones on here like msft um, we've also got uh, the geo you can see geo geo there that's a geolocation app that is connecting and also telling microsoft uh, what you where you are located and you can see traffic uh, manager as well on there.net and uh, arc.msn.com and a bunch of other ones on there like digicert.com and uh, some other connections so if i left this running you would see these will be constantly connecting to the machine and going out to microsoft and this is where all the harvesting uh, happens on your system also got windowsupdate.com there as well so whenever you open up applications like Copilot, or even if you don't open up Copilot applications, they will connect out, as you can see right here, to copilot.microsoft.com. And these are obviously connecting to their servers. What sort of data is being harvested and sent back? You'll have to uh, read Microsoft's blogs about that because they have disclosed some bit. So let's go ahead and try Chris Titus Tech's Util tool here. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to run it. And we're going to uh, debloat the system. Uh, and this tool has been highly recommended by tons of people. And I think a lot of people put too much faith in a lot of these applications and sort of think that it's going to actually save you and stop the telemetry. I don't think this will completely stop telemetry, but we can see and I'll test it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select standard and we're going to select a few more like uh, debloat edge and a bunch of other things on here as well. So let me go ahead and check mark a bunch of this stuff and then we can run it on the system and then we'll reboot the system and we'll run Wireshark again. Now this is a fresh install of Windows 11 and all we're going to do here is using Chris Titus Tech's Util tool to debloat the system. Is it going to stop telemetry? I don't think it will, but we'll see in a second. Now I'm not going to run the O and O shut up 10 because that is not Chris Titus Text tool. That is another tool that you can download from their website. He's just incorporated it into this application. And I don't think it will be fair to run that on this uh, program because it is a separate application. And I want to do that separately after we've run Chris Titus Text tool and we can then see whether that makes a difference. So let's go ahead and just run his tool on its own we're going to disable recall and a bunch of other stuff on here and we're going to turn some features on now i'm not going to do any windows updates or anything like that on here like managing my updates i'm going to leave that as is and what we'll do is we'll just click on the run tweaks right here so remember we're not running the ono shut up 10 built in this tool here we're going to do that after the fact so let me go ahead and now we're going to click on the run tweaks, which is on the bottom left hand corner. And it'll open up a command prompt in the background. And I'm going to cut a lot of this out because it just takes a bit of time. So you should see a prompt box popping up saying all the tweaks have been run and finished. And that will pop up shortly. And I'll show you that on the screen quickly. There you go. Tweaks are all finished. And now what we need to do is close this off and restart the PC. So let me go ahead and do that right here. I'm going to update and restart and we'll let that go. And we'll get back to the desktop. And what we're going to do is open up Wireshark one more time and we'll run it to see uh, what the results are. Now, I do believe a lot of people put far too much faith 
in this tool on its own. It's not to say that this tool is bad. It's just the fact that I think a lot of people put too much faith in something like this to stop telemetry from running on the PC. So I'm going to click on the Ethernet right here, and I'm going to put in here DNS, and we'll run this on the system. And we should now start seeing the data coming up on the screen. So if we have succeeded by stopping telemetry, we should see no Microsoft Edge or no uh, other stuff coming up on the screen. And I can already see settings-win.data.microsoft.com. And I can also see MSFT, uh, connecttest.com. There is edge-consumer-static.azureedge.net. And I can see some other ones on here like teams.events.data.microsoft.com as well. And I can see msn.com and bing.com. In fact, there's a lot of MSN and a lot of Edge stuff popping up on the screen. There's quite a lot of it. I'm not going to go through all of it, but there's a lot of Teams, a lot of Edge, and a lot of MSN, different types of URLs or domain names you can see here, windows.msn.com. I can see a geo.trafficmanager.net on there as well which is obviously to do with geolocation. And I can see geo2.trafficmanager.net on there as well, which are all to do with your geolocation. So it's not stopped any of that whatsoever. And it's still running on the system. You've also got a bunch of other stuff on here. I'm not going to go through every single one of these because we'll be here for an hour, but there is quite a lot. And it will continue to run on the system, as you can see. So it's not stopping telemetry and it is still running on the computer. And what it's done is it's changed a bunch of settings on the PC, but it's not fully stopped all of the telemetry. Now, granted, we didn't run the uh, shut up uh, 10 on the system, and we're going to run that in a second on this PC as well. So I want to do that separately just to see the sort of impact we get when we run certain features on certain programs. You can see this one here, geo.prod.do.dsp.mp.microsoft.com. That's obviously to do with a geolocation uh, as well of some sort of application that they're monitoring. So a lot of this stuff is still on the system and still giving up a lot of information and harvesting all your information on your PC. So if you had a lot of faith in this application in the first place, thinking that it was going to stop all the harvesting of your data and telemetry, then you're going to be mistaken because it is still running on the system and it's still calling home. So unfortunately, a lot of people do put a lot of faith in a lot of this sort of stuff on the internet. And unfortunately, it's not good enough. And the reason for that is because Windows is a closed operating system. And there's going to be stuff buried deep in the operating system that is going to be virtually impossible to stop. And uh, this is the problem with a lot of this stuff. This might be doing a lot of settings and registry tweaks and things like that. But Microsoft might have cottoned on to all of this stuff and they have put a block to it, like the host file, putting all the IPs in there for Microsoft. That doesn't work anymore. So what we're going to do here is download ShutUp O&O and run this on the system. Now, granted... You can run this from Chris Titus Text Tool. Now, before you jump in the comment section saying I'm hating on Chris, I'm not. I'm just showing you what it actually does and what it doesn't do. So, you know, leave those nasty comments to yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look and run this on the system, and then we'll reboot the PC, and then we'll do another test. I run the Amber settings on O&O Shut Up 10, and now I'm going to run O&O uh, app buster to remove all of the uh, bloated apps on the pc as well so i'm just going to run a scan here and i'm going to check mark a bunch of this stuff now i've not removed any of the codecs or any of that sort of stuff i'm going to do that on the pc after the fact when i do a deeper clean on the system so all this av1 video extensions these are all microsoft uh, extensions i will remove these because they're to do with microsoft but that will be uh, later on in the video. I'm just going to run this right now and we'll remove all the apps and then we'll reboot the PC. We run O&O shut up 10 on the system and we'll see uh, what happens once I run Wireshark to see how much more 
uh, data we've stopped from going out of our computer. So it's just creating a restore point and it's going to go ahead and remove all of these apps. So it can't remove five apps. Apparently it says five apps cannot be uninstalled, but don't worry, I'm going to do a deeper clean afterwards and remove a lot of stuff and test even further to see if we can really get a lot of this telemetry to stop. So wait to the end of the video before you see the end result. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to leave this as is, reboot the system, and uh, we're going to restart. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do another test with Wireshark to see what results are. So here we are back at the desktop. Let's go ahead. I've left uh, the Microsoft Store on here and a bunch of other stuff. You can see there's a few little apps on there. And we'll clean it up even further later on in the video and we'll do even more testing. So I'm just going to quickly fire this up one more time here and we'll take a quick look to see. So let me do uh, the DNS right here and we'll see what happens with the results. And we can already see msftconnecttest.com and I can see ecs.office.com coming up there. I can see edge-consumer-static dot azure edge dot net and there's some other ones here as well and i'm just letting these load in it's going to take a bit of time because as you're using the computer this will load up so you just have to be a bit patient i'm not giving this vast amounts of time to populate but i'm pretty sure that it's still going to populate some stuff on here so we're just going to let it go and we will see i can see edge dot microsoft dot com there i can see an office dot config.skype.com as well and as a msftncsi.com and i can see edge-cloud.com so i should have expanded that page because there's a few more on the right hand side here but there's a few opening up right here and you can see right here, it's opening up a few more connections here. I can see NCSI uh, Geo, which is your geolocation. It's still doing some of this stuff. So let me go ahead and do another quick test right here. And I've uninstalled Edge now. And I've also removed Windows Defender. And I've removed a ton of uh, bloat uh, to do with this system. So... You can see I've also added in my group policies onto the system and I've restarted the PC. And what we can see here now is very little activity whatsoever. I've got a firewall configured on the system to block a lot of stuff. And you can see there's hardly anything happening on this PC anymore. Now, granted, I've had to remove uh, Microsoft Edge and I've had to remove Windows Defender and I've had to... Uh, uninstall a heap of programs on here which are to do with windows and these are all your generic programs i've forced removed all those as well like the microsoft store xbox and all that sort of stuff that's all gone any sort of applications that are related to the microsoft operating system i've removed from here and this is why you can see very little activity and i've replaced the browser with uh, google chrome and you can see i've used revo uninstaller to remove a lot of uh, hard to remove applications as well and i've also also used scripts and stuff like that to remove stuff as well so this is the sort of length of things you're going to have to go to to be able to stop this from calling home all the time and you can see there's no activity it's running on the pc right now it's live running and there is no activity whatsoever so it can be done but it just means that you've just got to literally remove all of the main uh, Microsoft apps on the system to stop it calling home and you should see something as good as that with no real activity happening on the system all the time so it's stopped a lot of that harvesting of your information in the background and you could see by just the uh, Wireshark was not flying up on the screen like it was at the very beginning so as you can see it is possible to stop uh, a lot of the calling home signals on the PC, there was hardly anything moving on there. There was nothing getting sent out. And that's because we removed a lot of the key features and programs like Microsoft Edge, also uh, Windows Defender, Microsoft Store, and a bunch of other stuff has been removed from the PC. And this is where the problem's gonna arise later on down the line. You really shouldn't be removing those items from the computer, but I just wanted to test and show you 
that you're literally having to do all of that just to get uh, less chatter on the on the system like that and calling home. But again, is it feasible? Are you going to be able to run an operating system like that without causing any headaches for yourself? Probably not. And it's going to be a major problem for you later on down the line if you start removing key components like that. So I think the biggest problem with a lot of people when they talk about this sort of stuff is if you have privacy concerns and you don't like the data harvesting and you don't like the telemetry side of things on Windows, then you simply just don't use it. Because at the end of the day, it's Microsoft's operating system and they are not going to be removing any of that stuff from the operating system. It's that simple. So yes, you can jump through a bunch of hoops to get it to this sort of level, but it will probably end up breaking the operating system later on down the line. So it's probably not feasible. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments section what sort of videos you want to see and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Bye for now.